went off. And uh, I guess she and Terry became friends because of what they saw. And they corresponded back and forth with each other, but uh, she eventually was uh, uh, moved out of her home and her husband and uh, eventually ended up in Norman Mental Institution. In Norman. Have you figured out who that brave black cop was from Oklahoma City people? That was Terrence or Terry Yeeke, the one cop who was photographed running in and out, saving his kids as many as he could, while other people stood back, said, oh no, there's other bombs in the building. Really? They don't tell you that anymore, do you? They said, Timothy McVeigh did it, one truck bomb. No, there were other bombs in there. And anyway, Joyce now has what I think will really tick off a lot of you fat porkers out there <laughs> with the Obama health care plan. Read it to them, Joyce. <laughs> Revisiting this health care bill. Uh, <laughs> Read that section. For all you porkers out there, section 3121, page 935, lines 1 through 2, state that the government will develop healthy people and national public health performance standards, which basically means that they will tell you what to eat, how to exercise, when to shower, shit, and shave. Lucky I you. don't believe she said it. <laughs> but anyway, it's one of the seven dirty words you can't say on television. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce. Now, back to Sergeant Yiki's mother, who I interviewed in Oklahoma City or a suburb nearby, a brave American cop, a hero who was murdered before he could be given his due credit. I'm William Wagner and... Hello. This hey, is... I'm Joyce Pierce. Saying thanks for being with us. Good night. Good night. See you next week. I hope. And he wrote this letter to her before she went to the institution. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, this copy was printed off from his computer? That, uh, Ramona, uh, said that that came on her computer. Wow. It was sent to her by email or whatever. Do you believe this to be legitimate from your son? Uh, as talking with, with Ramona, uh, yes, I do. Uh, you do? Yeah, I do. Okay. Bring the camera. This blood over here. Do you believe your son wrote that? Yes, I do. I, I do believe, uh, I mean, he had that contact with Ramona. Uh, even before the letter came, she contacted me and sent me other things that had happened at the bombing. And she told me why they had become friends. Uh, I guess they knew each other before, but... Ramona wouldn't have known Chaplain Poe's name, would she? I wouldn't think so. There's some details in here. They had talked before. Terry. Terry and, and, and Ramona. Ramona. They had talked. What drove Ramona to the point where someone got her put away in a mental institution? 